Hello and welcome. This video segment covers the save management feature within CATIA v5. In this lesson you will learn how to save several documents at once, how to save component parts, assemblies, and the drawings independently, and how to save a file and all its related files to a new file location. So let's get busy. Save management is recommended for saving files instead of save, save as, or save all. Because this function provides details about which files will be saved and where they will be saved. Using save management also allows you to override CATIA's automatic save of related documents default. The save management command lets you save all your modified documents under a new name and a new location. Before you start, note that this command is relevant for loaded documents only. For unloaded documents, select File, Send To, which will be discussed in the next video. To start off, let's open some part and product files for the sake of discussion. To start the save management, go to File and select Save Management. The Save Management dialog displays. In this dialog, five columns are displayed. The State column indicates the original state of each currently used document. For instance, if a document has been modified since last load, the corresponding state modified is displayed in the state column. The different states you can assign to a document are New identifies a newly created document. You have to select a file name in order to save it. Open identifies a non-modified document open in your session. Modified identifies a document modified in your session. Modified by synchronization identifies a document modified at opening in order to be synchronized with a modified pointed document. Read only identifies a modified and read only document. Specify a new name if you want to save the document. The name column displays the name of each document about to be saved. The location column indicates all documents that are currently used along with their paths. The Action column enables you to check the actions you are performing on your documents, such as Save, Modification, etc. Bear in mind that the State column keeps on displaying the document original state, and do not reflect the actions you performed. The different actions that can be displayed are Open Read Only identifies a non-modified Read Only document open in your session. Save identifies a document that will be saved. Save Auto identifies a dependent document that will be saved. The Access column indicates the access rights for each document. Modifications made to a cut part do not propagate to its cut product and have no impact on the state of the cut product. Therefore, a dirty cut part is identified as modified, whereas the cut product it is linked to is identified as open. The Enable Independent Save checkbox lets you save document independently, regardless of any existing links between files, i.e. Dependent documents will not be automatically saved 
when the document they are linked to is saved. Select the files to be saved. At this point, you can add a suffix and or a prefix to the name of the documents you are going to save. To do so, enter the character string to be added to each file name in the pattern name box. The character asterisk is used as a wildcard to replace the file name, and you can set the following pattern values. YY asterisk, where YY is the character string, means that the names of the selected files will be prefixed with YY, for example, yyarm.catpart. Asterisk XX, where XX is the character string, means that the names of the selected files will be suffixed with XX, for example, armxx.catpart. YY asterisk XX means that the names of the selected files will be prefixed and suffixed respectively with YY and XX, for example, yyarmxx.catpart. You can add a prefix or a suffix to one document only, or to multiple documents. To select multiple documents, you can use one of the following methods. Heterogeneous selection by pressing CTRL. Continuous selection by pressing SHIFT and CTRL. Computed selection by right-clicking a document in the list, then select one of these two contextual commands. Select all pointed to select all the impacted point documents. In that case, all documents links are taken into account, especially contextual ones, which means that the resulting graph can be larger than the object's product tree. Product tree to select the entire depending product tree. In that case, neither contextual links for design in context, nor relational links from part to part are taken into account, but only structure links for the product structure's composition. However, note that if the document you select when using this command is not a cut product, then the selection is not extended. Note that the shape representations other than cut parts, CGR, model, cut shapes, etc., are also included in the resulting selection. In the example shown on the screen, right-clicking links cut product and choosing select all pointed automatically selects part one dot cut part, which is referenced by links cut product. If we decided to add a suffix, say for example XX, to the selected documents, we enter XX to the right of the asterisk in the pattern name box. Then we click apply pattern button to propagate the pattern we set to all selected documents. The validity of the each new document identification is checked. If another document in the session or in the file system has the same computed name, a pop-up message is displayed to indicate which documents cannot be renamed, and you are asked whether you want to proceed or not. If you choose to proceed, the pattern value will be assigned only to documents that can be renamed. If no problem occurs, all the files are renamed and the new names are displayed in the name column. To ensure data consistency, all document links are automatically updated in session, which means that applying a prefix or a suffix to a single document may lead to an automatic save of other documents. This can be illustrated by the following example. When the suffix xx is applied to part2.cut part, the save auto action is assigned to product1.cut product to indicate that this link document will be saved as well. When you click the Apply Pattern button, only the file name is modified. Features such as part number or root products are not impacted. Clicking the Apply Pattern button has no effect on disk. This only checks and initializes the new names in memory. The files are physically saved on disk with their new names when you click OK. You can cancel the pattern application by clicking the Reset button but note that the reset applies to the whole save management dialog box and not only to the suffix or prefix propagation.
Click Save As to open the Save As dialog box. Indicate the name of the new created file in the file name box as well as the destination folder. If a suffix XX has been applied, it is also displayed in the file name box. When you have saved a document in a new directory, you can use the Propagate Directory button to save the files linked to this document into the same directory. Note that new documents with the autosave status are saved in the directory of the document selected in the list when clicking the Propagate Directory, Save or Save As button. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.